Good morning, everyone. My name is Richard Evans with Caliber Yacht Sales, and today it's my privilege to introduce a Fairway 410 convertible to you. Now, this is a 2016 boat, but less than 200 hours on it. So once you see on board, it is in pristine condition. Uh, in fact, the cellophane is still on the TV. So before we go on board, I want to show you this hull. You've heard of Raymond Hunt, who inspired the Deep V. The Deep V was designed by Raymond to uh, encourage fast cruising through rough seas and having a very comfortable ride. Well, that's what you have here in this vessel. You can go out in very, very rough conditions and it's just like gliding through the waves. So I'm really looking forward to showing you the inside of this spectacular boat. Come on, follow me. So many beautiful features about this boat, including the beam. Now look at that, that's 14.7. It's one of the reasons why this boat is so stable in, a, in rough seas, but uh, not so wide that you're going to compromise your fuel efficiency. Fuel efficiency in this is just over a gallon per nautical mile at 20 knots. Pretty good for a 44 foot boat. Now, boarding is easy. Uh, first of all, look at this wide swim grid and you're probably noticing all this beautiful teak. Again, virtually new. Uh, the teak is an upgrade. The boat doesn't come standard with that, so they had that uh, ordered with the uh, upgraded teak. And I like this. I like this uh, two-part transom gate. Uh, this closes up and then this flips down over top, just making it that much more secure. And aesthetically, it's nice. It really looks nice. A nice wide transom gate, uh, easy to get through even when you're carrying stuff. And uh, wow, this is spectacular. Hey, imagine yourself sitting in this cockpit in an anchorage, a uh, couple of teak tables set up and some teak chairs and maybe some beverages around. Uh, and look at the size of this thing. My goodness, 14.7 beam, hey? Eh? One of the advantages of having a beam like that, of course, is the size of the cockpit. You could uh, have four, even six very large adults in here and uh, enjoy a lot of good times uh, out there in the water. And what a wonderful environment to uh, entertain your guests and your family, eh? Some of the things here I want to point out to you is, uh, I mentioned earlier that the boat is uh, primarily designed as a, as a fisher. So of course we've got a live bait tank, 38 gallon, complete with aerator and a viewing window to make sure that uh, your live bait is in good form. Down below here, we've got loads of storage. And I wanted to point out the, uh, the hardware. I mean, look at the size of that cleat. Uh, very substantial, and of course uh, the uh, guide for uh, your dock lines out through here. And uh, interesting design, so you can fit it in uh, without having to thread them all the way through. Uh, I really like that. I also wanted to point out this very interesting design of uh, scuppers. Uh, it's a self-bailing cockpit, uh, designed for uh, you know very heavy saltwater fishing. Uh, so you're going to get waves that uh, will crash over sometimes, but uh, have a look at those scuppers. Uh, very interesting in how they're discharging the water from the cockpit, uh, complete with its own little trough uh, right there to collect the water all around uh, the teak. I thought that was really, really a clever, uh, clever feature. Also want to point out uh, these uh, five rocket launchers up here. Uh, each of them are designed to withstand 136 pounds of uh, pressure. So uh, again, this boat is designed for some serious, serious fishing. Over here, uh, we've got uh, a locker, uh, same on the other side, that uh, you could store rods in, or you could store just about anything else that you wanted. And uh, down below here, so look at that. Look at the size of that. Boy, you could put some big fish in there. There's, uh, there's two of these. But if that wasn't enough and you wanted to keep your fish cold, well, have a look at this. You could put a whole tuna in there. These guys must be serious fishers because what do we have here? We have a commercial fridge freezer complete with temperature control right here to either freeze your fish or just keep it cold until you get home. Isn't that amazing? Now, down below here, and uh, we'll take you down there a little bit later, but I just wanted to show you the access to the engine space. Very easy access uh, with the ladder going straight down. Lots of room down there, but we'll talk about that a little later. 
Now one of the things I really like, especially for the Pacific Northwest, where it does rain once in a while, and uh, also protection from the sun, we've got a rigid overhang. It doesn't come over the entire cockpit, and you probably don't want that. Uh, in this particular case, you've got enough to get the shade and protection from the sun, but it comes out about one third over the cockpit. So that means that you've still got two thirds of the cockpit to enjoy this wonderful, beautiful sun. Um, beautiful, beautiful stainless steel ladder, complete with this uh, teak uh, inlay as well. Uh, 316 stainless steel, very good quality stuff. So I want to point out the Brinkle security system that we have here. This is a brilliant system that uh, attaches many, many sensors through at the boat that uh, uh, shows up, sends alarms to your uh, smartphone. And uh, I think it's brilliant. I've, uh, I've seen it in use and it's, uh, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, whether the boat's moving or whatever, notice that uh, all of these uh, sensors on each of the hatches, each of the, uh, each of the doors, uh, all attached to this. If that was to open in your uh, downtown or in bed at home, um, it will notify you on your smartphone. Really cool system. Now, what we have in here is an outdoor sink, uh, fresh water. Um, it's cold water only, uh, but it's, uh, it's great to have this facility here to clean your hands after you've cleaned your fish. Um, or well, you could fill it with ice and uh, keep your beer and wine cold. Now, if you wanted to add a cockpit control system, uh, everything on this boat is a latest state of the art. Uh, it's all plug and play. Very easy to remote uh, your controls upstairs um, and put those controls right in here. Brilliant, brilliant. But right now, it's, uh, it serves as a sink. Now, I really like this. I thought this was smart. Your shore power cable plugs right into here. And when you're wrapping up your shore power cable, you tuck it in there. You don't have to unplug it from the boat. Uh, just plug it in there and uh, close this up like so. And your shore power cord is stored away. No more looking for a place to put it uh, down in the lazarette or what do I do with it. It's got its own little storage unit, which I thought was really, really cool. Uh, so now you've seen all the fishing attributes of this boat, and, uh, and there's uh, just a few of them, eh? But for those of you who are on board who don't want to fish or don't even like fishing, you're going to really enjoy the interior of this. What a wonderful, luxurious place just to relax and enjoy while those who do like fishing are out here. Come on inside. You're going to love this. Hmm. Isn't this beautiful? Oh my goodness. Uh, I know, I know I go on about wood, but I just love fine woodwork. Look at the, how this teak accents the cherry wood in the sole. Just beautifully done. I really like it a lot. What a comfortable space this is, isn't it? Wonderful space to entertain. Uh, they've used it so well. Uh, you could put two coupled or two people here easily, or maybe even four and at least another two over here, maybe even three. And look at these big, bright windows that just let that natural sunlight just pour in here. Got a window here and then a big window across the back and then a window on the starboard side as well. It's just a gorgeous space. It feels really good in here. And uh, again, look at the quality and look at the, I mean, it looks new, doesn't it? It should with less than 200 hours on the, uh, on the engines. Um, I'll show you the curtains once we get over to the other side. Um, I think it's very tastefully done, but I wanted to point out um, the accent runners that they've uh, put in here, as well as these uh, throw cushions, very beautifully done. Wow, look at the space, eh? Isn't this good? This, uh, I mean, the finish in this table is beautiful. I know I'm going on about teak again, but it's really nicely finished. Um, and these seats are so comfortable. Notice the bolsters in them, just at the right place, just under your legs, just to make it feel comfortable. So you can sit here a long time and really enjoy this space. Accented uh, cherry wood, accenting the teak. 
It's a very, very comfortable space. A luxurious place to be, eh? In here enjoying a drink of your choice. Well, they're out there doing their fishing thing. <laughs> You're gonna love this space. A lovely, lovely space. A space that you could be proud of entertaining in. Over here, look at this. <laughs> the, the TV has never been used. Now, they never used the TV. It came with the boat. They uh, do not have an antenna. Easy to do. Uh, it's all wired just to plug into the antenna and you're good to go. The uh, feel of this leatherette is, uh, is nice, very nice. A storage underneath. So here on the starboard side, just as uh, you're coming in the door, um, there's uh, some interesting things here I do want to point out to you. Uh, first of all, down below, uh, we have uh, your panel that uh, um, manages all of your electrics throughout the boat. And I want to point this out as well. Uh, you know how um, if your batteries are low and you need to manually switch over for crossover to get uh, use the house batteries to start your engines, it will automatically switch uh, to house batteries to start your engines and then switch back. I think that's pretty clever. But uh, something else that is really quite amazing is this little device here. Now this is really a clever device. Um, I've not seen this anywhere else. Um, it's apparently very popular in Australia and New Zealand uh, where many of these boats uh, are uh, in existence right now. But I was so impressed with this. This is a digital control uh, that enables you to um, preset all of the features that you want to turn on immediately. When you come on board the boat, you don't have to go uh, to your uh, panel. Um, everything is here and you just hit one button and your lights come on, um, your heater comes on, whatever you want to come on comes on and I think that's really a remarkable feature. Very, very efficient. Now let me show you the, uh, uh, these curtains. Uh, they're quite modern and uh, I, I, I really like them. See that? Isn't that beautiful? And then um, you can adjust for the right light that you want as well. Storage everywhere. Every single place that uh, they could uh, put storage in, they have. Here, under the settees, on both sides, um, everywhere. I'll uh, show you the storage once we get down to the galley. So, uh, wonderful layout in the galley. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the galley is up. So you're up here uh, with your guests, with your family and friends um, while you're preparing the food. Um, this is a very efficient layout here. I like this uh, little raised platforms. So you can prepare your meals here and then set them up here uh, for someone from uh, the uh, dinette to reach over and grab them. Corian countertop, and this is Corian as well. Very bright in here. Uh, all this light coming in from both sides and from the back. Uh, nice fixtures, um, molded in sink, so you're not going to get a little, a lot of uh, water slopping around. Um, you've got uh, controls for your blinds right here, and we talked about that earlier. Uh, incredible amount of storage. Uh, we've got storage here uh, for glasses and plates, um, and storage here and storage here and down below here oh my goodness yeah, this is going to blow you away there is so much storage down here um, i would even say that would probably be a good idea to uh, to uh, put in some shelves down there because it's uh, large enough for a pantry just look at all that space down there isn't that amazing and look at this that's solid cherry wood very very nice very nice now uh, we have a fridge on this side and a freezer on this side and a proper freezer because you can open the freezer without having all the cold run out. You just go into the compartment that you want. Very well thought out. Built-in cooktop, a uh, Corian counter around it for nice easy cleaning. And above that is a microwave oven. Now um, notice that uh, the microwave is uh, built into a cavity. Uh, that will allow for a larger microwave oven if, uh, if you wish. Uh, this is just a standard microwave. It's not a convection microwave. Um, if it was my boat, I'd put in a convection microwave. 
uh, which is what, 300 bucks. Beautiful space. I like this little accent that they got back here. And uh, notice it's an acrylic, so it's uh, very, very easy to clean. Uh, you got uh, electric sockets here. Plug in your coffee machine or uh, blender, whatever, whatever you've got going. Over here, right across from the galley, we've got uh, light switches for below. And uh, I mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again. It's uh, all of your lights or uh, LEDs. Uh, these are your um, controls for your compressors, for the uh, air conditioning, and for the reverse air. Um, uh, the reverse air works very, very well. Uh, the uh, owner told me of a uh, time that it was, uh, she was out, it was cold, and they turned on the reverse air, and uh, she was very happy with the heat. Up uh, above here, uh, we've got, again, more storage. And uh, over here, uh, these are the vents for the air conditioner and for the reverse air. And that's about it for this space. So come on down below and uh, we'll show you uh, heads and beds. Now here uh, we have uh, the master cabin. Notice it's uh, a walk around so um, you don't have to disturb uh, your partner when you're getting out of bed. Um, and again, very beautifully decorated. Just, just lovely. Plenty of storage, uh, both on port and starboard. Uh, notice these cabinets uh, up above and uh, this uh, extended uh, bookshelf uh, that runs down both sides of the hall here. Really nice. Two hang up lockers, one here. And one on the other side. And over here, uh, Master Cabin has its own head uh, with, uh, with its shower. Again, the beautiful Corian countertop. Electric toilets, very easy to use. And uh, storage underneath the sink. Notice the carpeting. Still got the plastic on it. Boats like new, just like new. Now, here on the uh, starboard side, uh, we've got uh, an over-under bunk. Um, the upper bunk uh, would be maybe for uh, smaller people. Uh, notice how it runs right underneath here. And then the lower bunk, of course, is uh, quite a bit wider. This cabin also has its uh, hang-up locker and drawers underneath the bottom. Uh, wonderful space. Complete with reading lamps, uh, which is uh, kind of a nice feature as well. Very, very comfortable space and nicely, nicely appointed. Right across from that, uh, we have um, your day head uh, and with another shower, uh, teak grate, and again, electric toilet. Um, the uh, uh, toilet paper roll is hidden, as you can see, um, and uh, nicely, nicely out of the way. Uh, very, very comfortable space. And of course, your, um, the space is heated as well. So there you go. Beautiful, beautiful layout on this vessel. Um, heads and beds down here where they belong and galley up, uh, which is really nice and uh, very desirable by uh, many users. Um, and uh, wonderful, wonderful seating area, both inside and outside in the cockpit. Now, I told you it was nice. Let's go have a look at the helm station. So let's go up to the helm station. So up here in the bridge, this is, uh, this is pretty amazing, really. Um, I love the feel up here. It's huge. Remember, 14.7 beam. That's, uh, that's pretty substantial for a 44-foot boat. Uh, lots of amenities. Uh, first of all, the, thing, the first thing that probably grabs you is uh, the solidness of this uh, tubing here to hold up the rigid hardtop. So you can be very, very comfortable up here. It's got a lot of, uh, lot of things that uh, I really like. Let me, first of all, point out this. Now, I've not seen this before, um, but it's new. It's, uh, it's called a, a Macron window system. And look at this. Rather than having to take um, your windows right out uh, like you would with um, your standard window system, they have double tracks. And to close the window, you simply close it up and zip it up and it's as uh, simple as that so no more having to worry about uh, 
trying to find a place to store your windows when you take them out. I was also impressed by the quality of this, this Macron window system. Um, it's uh, much heavier than Lexon, more like Isinglass. Uh, you certainly wouldn't roll these, but now you don't need to because uh, they're kept in place. Very, very efficient, brilliant system. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, here, it's uh, good. It's a hot day today. Um, and normally on a day like this, uh, with all of this uh, uh, glass enclosure, uh, it'd be like uh, very warm, <laughs> like a hot house. But uh, it's very comfortable up here right now. We don't even have the air conditioner going. All we have is natural flow of uh, air from the hatch here. And uh, we've got the back window open and the two side windows. But these, all of these windows are all fit on the same double track system. So um, you can have any configuration that you want. I like this. I really like this a lot. The uh, guests are forward, not aft, of the helm station. And why do I like that? It's because uh, nothing worse than turning around to talk to your guests and finding that uh, you've got a log coming up. So you're looking forward at your guests and also keeping an eye on the water where it belongs. I like this. Um, first of all, uh, it's a v very heavy. Um, look at look at the quality of that build, and even on the inside, um, everything is finished very very nicely. Um, look at the cable run. Everything is done properly, and labeled properly. One of the things that I was impressed with on the build of this boat is um, they've uh, they've uh, resin injected uh, the uh, the top the hard top that I'm standing on or the uh, uh, the floor of uh, the helm. Um, what resin injection does for you is it uh, increases uh, the strength, tremendous strength, but without adding a whole lot of weight, which is good because, you know, with uh, something this high, you, you don't want the boat to be rocking, which is one of the reasons why the boat is so stable uh, in a seaway. Now, um, over here, we've got your control center. Now this is, a, this is a great space here as well. Um, dual helm chairs, uh, nice to have a co-pilot sitting right next to you. And a uh, footrest that's totally adjustable and of course the seat adjusts up and down and back and forth. ZF controls uh, for your uh, engines, very, very smooth operation, very nice to use. For those of you who have used ZF controls that uh, you know that it's very easy to shift control stations and you also have a very positive sense of feeling in command uh, with controls like this. If you decided to go ahead and put into a cockpit uh, helm station, uh, you can do that. Um, as we talked about earlier, it's all plug and play, very easy to do. Now right here, we've got a Garmin 3310 GPS chart plotter uh, and uh, this, this does it all. Everything that you need is right in there. Uh, we've got uh, an AIS system on board the boat, which is nice for safety reasons and also to give um, uh, more of a feeling of command of what's happening around you. Uh, here, uh, you've got SmartCraft uh, visuals on your uh, engine analytics, how much fuel you're burning, what the temperatures uh, are, what the uh, transmission oil pressure is, what the engine oil pressure is, and so on and so on. Good to have. The uh, trim tabs are right here. Now what's beautiful about this is everything is in very, very easy to reach, okay? You're sitting right in front of your GPS chart plotter. Um, you've got great visual on your AIS. Uh, your smart craft is right there and easy access to your VHF. You know, the feeling I get sitting here in this chair is one of immense uh, safety and security. Um, I'm just uh, seriously impressed on the build up here. It's solid, rock solid. And just look at the uh, tubing holding uh, this uh, rigid uh, hard top uh, over the uh, pilot station. This is an all season space. Um, and what I really like uh, a lot is, well, first of all, of course, the ZF controls. I love them. They give you a strong sense of being in charge being in control of your boat. The quality of the build is uh, substantial and it gives you a, a sense of uh, confidence and security. Just a well-built boat. Being up here, uh, you're high, um, which is good because you've got great visibility on the water at a great distance. And that's important, especially in the Pacific Northwest uh, with logs coming our way on a regular basis. 
So you're gonna like it. You're gonna like it a lot. Here in the engine room, we've got uh, um, enough space to get around and do your maintenance checks. Um, notice how clean it is. Well, it's clean because it's got less than 200 hours on these engines. That's, uh, that's a big part of the reason why. But they have properly maintained the vessel. About 170 hours on her, actually. Uh, the boat is like new. We got 1,100 horsepower down there, 550 aside, turbocharged, after cooled, and boy, she goes. She really goes. She's still quite fuel efficient. She does a little better than a nautical mile and a half per gallon. With those twin diesels, 1,100 horsepower altogether, that's, that's pretty impressive. Uh, notice the raw water intakes that come in to uh, cool the engines. Um, both have filters, uh, that uh, 316 stainless steel connecting pipe uh, to uh, just give it that extra rigidity. Notice that big Cummins genset forward of the engines there. That's a 9 kilowatt and it also has a sound shield as you can see. There's an air water separator for the exhaust on the genset, so when it's running it's very, very quiet. The space down here is uh, it's very clean, uh, easy to get around the engines to do your maintenance checks. Everything in this boat is properly laid out and uh, it's the old story, if it's hard to get at your engines, uh, you probably won't do the maintenance, but uh, that's not going to be an issue in this boat. Now up here on the deck, um, the deck is very clean. Uh, the windlass, most of the windlass is down below the deck, so you're not going to go stubbing your toes or tripping over it. Uh, the uh, And of course you've got uh, up and down uh, switches here. Uh, you also have up and down switches uh, from your helm station above. I thought this was pretty nice. Uh, looks like the, uh, the chain and the anchor, uh, stainless steel, just gives it that extra posh. And look at the size of this deck here. Oh my goodness. Imagine yourself up here with uh, uh, some cushions. You can have them uh, fabricated and uh, spread out up here and uh, what a great spot to hang out. Plenty of room to hang out and just enjoy the scenery as, uh, as it's going by. So no matter what you're doing, whether you're just looking for coastal cruising uh, with your family and friends, or if you're looking for fishing, or if you're looking for a combination of both, this boat has it all. Wow, didn't I tell you folks, what a spectacular vessel. So versatile, great for fishing, great for cruising, luxurious comfort. That Raymond Hunt Deep B hull caused us just to cruise through the water. It was beautiful. What a wonderful ride it was. And this boat can be yours. All you have to do is give us a call. We'll get you aboard and you'll be very glad you did.